decoration decorate my front porch has begun welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Clara I live in Charleston still a little warm here even though it is nearly five days into December but it feels like it's already halfway through unfortunately they didn't have this nutcracker on sale I would have thought that by now all the decor and stuff would be on sale but I have a vision that I want to execute today if you didn't see when I was walking down my steps this morning or in my past vlog I have a ton of pumpkins still out and they're all rotting so I need to replace that I mean I guess I didn't need to replace it but I wanted to replace it with this guy and some poinsettias I got a new welcome mat from Joann's and it's actually gonna be somewhat of a project oh no I got textured spray paint oh well I don't want to go back in there I was gonna spray paint him matte black and I still will but I didn't realize that the spray paint was textured honestly maybe that works in my favor because I definitely wasn't gonna sand it and prep it the way that I was supposed to so there's bound to be dust stuck to him anyways but this is day seven of 15 vlogs that I'm posting in December it's my version of vlogmas with all the travel I have planned this month I didn't want to commit to a full 25 days but I can do 15 and you are nearly halfway through so go back and watch the others if you haven't seen them already and subscribe if you're new here so that you don't miss the ones coming up today we're doing some decorating I have some meetings I actually have a meeting in 20 minutes that I need to get home to and then we will put our first coat of textured spray paint onto our new friend here which we name him hey Clara hey how are you just changed into a more paint friendly outfit although do I have anything paint friendly like no not really I don't keep clothes unless I like want them and I don't want any of them to have black spray paint on them so hopefully I'm not too messy this is my free Bonner t-shirt and it's already black so hopefully it'll be fine ideally no paint will get on it I'm just gonna go put the first coat of spray paint on my guy I think I'm gonna put an Instagram story up and see what we should name him I don't have any like paint friendly shoes either because why would I keep a pair of shoes I'm willing to paint I think I'm just gonna wear my slides and then I'll actually do it barefoot just taped up all the battery stuff for his lights. I don't know if I'm even gonna use the light, but I guess it would be better to protect them than like regret it, because I don't think there'll be any going back once I start spraying this guy. I'm using this like moving blanket that my movers left. I feel like I'm about to pass out from all these smells, but he's looking pretty good. I'm gonna let him dry because it's supposed to turn matte, and then I'll go over any spots that I miss because I feel like with the shine versus the matte, it'll be super obvious. I'm actually so lightheaded after that, but I have to make lunch now. Today's lunch is a crispy chicken Mediterranean salad. Look at this picture. Oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. It says the prep time is 45 minutes, total time is 30 minutes, so it's really anyone's game. Apparently, we're working against the clock but shouldn't take me too long because it's really just the chicken and then chopping stuff up. I'm ignoring the way that they prepared the chicken and just preparing it in a way that I already know I like which is the thin sliced chicken breast. You can also butterfly just regular chicken breast but I skipped a step and just bought the thinly sliced ones already. Trader Joe's panko. It's like the best panko and two eggs or one egg depending on how much chicken you have with a little squeeze of Dijon mustard and this is like the perfect, I think it's called dredging, dredging station. I don't know. I do chicken and the egg and the panko and then it's gonna go on a clean plate and that will get fried up in some avocado oil. Got my chicken cooking, I just fry it in avocado oil. So while this is cooking, I rounded up all the toppings. It calls for pepperoncini, feta cheese, olives, cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, red onion, then the lettuce itself and a dressing. It's like a vinaigrette with dill. Just whipped up the dressing really quickly it was like honey some vinegar oil dill salt pepper and lemon juice so now all that's left is to assemble and there she is gonna eat this probably sitting at the island honestly this is my favorite way to make chicken for like wraps salads anything like that i'm dying to go down and check on my nutcracker but i want to edit and post my lunch tiktok that i just filmed of the salad i just made so if you want to see the recipe more in depth than what i just vlogged then go to my tiktok to watch it i want to get this up in the next like 20 minutes if i can edit it that quickly and then we'll go check on the nut all right let's go peek i can't wait any longer 
How you doing, little guy? Oh, I definitely missed a couple spots, but it feels dry and it doesn't it doesn't look very matte, but it also doesn't look very textured. So two wins in my book. I feel like this is the only area that I kind of missed a spot. All right, I guess I'm just gonna touch this up and let it dry for like another hour. <laughs> Don't ask me what's going on behind me. I have no idea what that noise is and I don't want to know. I think something's under construction. <laughs> While my nutcracker man dries, I'm gonna get started on dinner because dinner is actually a crock pot meal tonight. It's a new defined dish crock pot meal and I love all of her recipes as you probably know by now. It is this slow cooker Thai red curry chicken and veggie. It takes four to six hours and it's three o'clock. So if I do four hours on high, then I'll be eating around seven. So not bad, honestly. Probably when I would have eaten anyways. I need chicken, thinly sliced bell pepper, yellow onion, garlic. Should be pretty easy. I just need to combine everything and put it into the crock pot. I've got white onion. This was supposed to be red bell pepper, but the store was out of red bell pepper, so I got orange instead. I got all of my like liquids mixed up. Ginger, garlic, red curry paste, chicken broth, fish sauce, coconut amino, stuff like that. That's what it's actually going to be cooking in. There's some lime zest in there as well, and the recipe called for breast, but I accidentally bought thighs, so with thighs it is, and honestly, like the fat and thighs and stuff like this actually tastes way better, so I think this is going to be really good with the thighs. I'm not going to bother keeping them up like it said to keep up the breast because the thighs are already smaller. So all of this just goes in on high for four hours. Now I need to find a little paintbrush to paint around the details, like the lights of my nutcracker. Actually, people ask me what's in these bins, so why don't I just run through it with you? There's some extra filters for like my shower head filter thing and my humidifier. Not positive what's in that one because I didn't label it, so I should probably pull that down and label it. I think that's some um, craft supplies actually. House extras and originals because I did take down the shower heads, like I mentioned, and put my own up, so I like put all the originals in a box so I can put those in before I move out. Your guess is as good as mine on that one. Extra rugs and shower curtain. I have lived in apartments and homes with a glass shower for the past couple of years, but I have shower curtains that I love and I didn't want to get rid of. So extra like runners, ruggable pads, and shower curtain in there. Shipping and packing supplies, spare parts to different things. Like if I build something and it has extra screws or whatnot, I put it in there. Light bulbs, batteries, command strips, craft supplies, tape, gift wrap, stationery, candles, sandpaper, tools, paintbrushes, cords, speakers, tripods iPods, shipping labels, my scale, and some thank you cards for Poshmark stuff, travel accessories, poly stuff, sunscreen bug spray, and sunglasses. So if you've ever wondered what is up here, that is exactly what's up here. All the bins are from Target and so are these little placard things. They're all the Bright Room brand and I love them. They're all modular too, so they stack. And I reinforce the shelf that they're sitting on. Don't ask me what that is. It just works. So yeah. That's what's up there, and it's definitely a lot of weight on the shelf. Anyways, let me get a paintbrush, and we'll go paint those details. I feel like this one's probably fine. And I'll just spray some of the spray paint into this red Solo cup, and then it'll match perfectly. I just need to touch up around where these little lights are. Well, while he finishes drying, I'm gonna go move all those pumpkins and sweep off the step. Oh, I'm scared to touch this one. I feel like I just took a workout class. These are the plants that I got today. I got three little like bushes that kind of look like Christmas trees in my opinion and three poinsettias because I looked on Pinterest and I saw some people had these on their front doorstep. So I assume you can keep them outside. I always thought they were indoor plants, but I'm just gonna put them in my little pot. So freaking cute. I layered this doormat over my existing one. Probably should have swept that off, but honestly, between the spray paint and walking up and down the stairs, I feel like I'm about to pass out. Been sitting on the couch working on Vlogmas day five, editing and posting that. Trying to export it right now. My computer sounds like a freight train. <laughs> Every time I export a video, I'm just like fingers crossed that it doesn't light on fire, honestly. <laughs> 
<laughs> but trying to get this live right now i exported it and finally got it uploaded wrote the caption everything and then realized that i exported it in the wrong resolution so it literally looked like it was filmed with a potato so starting the whole process over again it's about seven o'clock so the crock pot meal should be ready probably in like the next 20 minutes i'll go check on it again just have to add some coconut milk and some green beans and serve it over rice it'll be so good i honestly just love anything with red curry paste i'm also gonna make some frozen cookies tonight i got that capello's frozen and cookie dough yesterday at the grocery store at the very end of my vlog there was like a brief clip of me grabbing the cookie dough but it's the best like at home frozen cookie dough well it's not the best the best is hot tape that's the name of the company but that one you have to like order in the mail kind of hard to get this is the best one that you can buy at a grocery store in my opinion worldwide nationwide probably gonna make cookies later i might might do a little fire pit depending on how cold it is outside i don't know i've just been sitting here i have more work to do all i had to do was add some arrowroot starch which is essentially an alternative to corn starch so it's gonna thicken up the sauce a little bit some coconut milk and then the green beans and this is all cooking until the green beans get a little tender and honestly i like my green beans to have a little bit of a bite so i'm probably not gonna cook it as long as it calls for and forgot to mention but i also took out the chicken thighs and i cut them up and i really like that it's not necessarily like shredded chicken that's the one thing i don't love about the crock pot is that most of the meat is just like shredded meat super excited for this to be done i love my crock pot i think crock pot has the potential to do like a really good rebrand and come back but they haven't yet but it's such a good meal prepping hack and it's such a good like busy busy week night just throw everything together I'm a huge crock pot gal. Just uploaded my video and I'm gonna celebrate with a little spritz. I haven't talked about these in a while, but I still love them. They're the Free AF Apero Spritz Non-Alcoholic Cocktail. Basically a little non-alcoholic Aperol spritz vibe. And I have spray paint all over my hands from today. So we'll see how long that stays on. Hopefully that'll come out in the shower tonight. And dinner is served. All I had to do was add a little bit of fresh cilantro and lime juice. Pretty quick. I hope it tastes good. For some reason, it looks like it doesn't have a ton of flavor. So I'm a little bit nervous about this recipe. I don't know why I doubted Mystifying Dish. That was delicious. If anything, I will add more red curry paste next time. I don't think I added a full two tablespoons because I was just eyeballing it. But that was a really good meal. It looked deceptively under seasoned because like the chicken didn't have any visible seasoning on it. But the sauce was really good and like all the veggies and stuff. I already made my cookies. Forgot to film it but I will show you the packaging since I raved about it. This is the brand that I was talking about. Chocolate chip with flaky sea salt. They're pasteurized eggs, real butter, gluten-free. So freaking good. Kind of expensive, but you get 12 cookies and they're like little individual ones. You can just make like one each night and it'll last you a decent amount of time. I'm in the same predicament I was last night about not wanting to clean, but last night was not wanting to go to the grocery store. I don't think, well, let me see if I can load anything else in here. Ugh, I guess I'll load and run the dishwasher and that will be my extent of my closing shift tonight because I just cannot stay up any longer I'm so tired. Honestly, I swear those fumes like did something to me the spray paint fumes I seriously have not felt right since I spray painted and I wish I had thought to put a mask on But I honestly don't even know where my masks are I know I still have them But you know, I feel like it's been so long since I've had to reach for a mask for like public outings type of things I don't know where I put all my masks in the mood. So I genuinely think I lost some brain cells today Hopefully they replenish themselves while I sleep, but I'm just gonna load the dishwasher and call it a night. I seriously think I lost brain cells today because I just opened day five of my advent calendar again. Totally forgot I did this. Stared at this necklace for a second and was like, wait, what? So anyways, I need to go to bed. Hope these brain cells come back because I need them. And with that, I'm signing off of vlog number seven. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far this month. I'm posting 15 days in December, all consecutive. So if you haven't seen all those, you have quite a few to catch up on. And if you're new here, subscribe so you don't miss any more. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram if you wanna see what I'm up to on more of a daily basis because I usually don't post as much on YouTube, but we'll see. Maybe this will be a new thing for me. I will see you in my next video, which is tomorrow.